Souls RNG Era 6 seems to be the biggest update that the game seen so far, and with it releasing soon, I decided to let you know everything that's coming to Souls RNG Era 6. From new gauntlets to new auras to even reworks, there's a lot in store for us for the future. This seems to be the new best gauntlet in the game, even though shining the Exo Gauntlet, which gives 100% luck and a minus 25% roll time. The color of this gauntlet is purple. So if it follows the trends of the other gauntlets in the game, if you have any of these auras, you should keep them stored until we know the requirements are. Diaboli Void, Galaxy, Twilight, Gravitational, Hypervolt, and Arcane Dark. Hopefully it's Diaboli Void or another new aura, because as we know, even the Exo Gauntlet was a struggle to get. If it ends up being Arcane Dark, please give me your luck, because I know I'll never be getting that thing. Definitely the most exciting part of the update will be the new auras coming to the game. Nobody will have them, and maybe one of you guys could be the first people in the world to ever get them. Let me know in the comments which one of these you want the most, and what do you think the rarity is going to be. Pestilence. This aura looks really cool. It seems to have a holographic skeleton behind you which is trying to grab your avatar. It kind of reminds me of the skull from Undertale. From what it looks like, it might be too big. So maybe when we see it in the final version, it's going to be smaller than this. Either way, this aura is crazy. Zenith. This aura seems to be one of the chiller auras in the game, like Galaxy and Twilight. And speaking of Twilight, it looks to have the same type of effects. But they managed to make something with a completely different vibe which is pretty cool. Breeze. This aura looks like an upgrade to one of the worst auras in the game, Permafrost. With this aura taking the theme of a snowflake with its sharp lines and frost effects, as well as the giant snowflake behind you, you can't deny it looks pretty cool. Fortune. This aura looks crazy and it's based on luck itself, so you already know it's going to be rare. With a 1 in 77 million chance, this aura might be the rarest we've seen so far. And I already know the music for this aura is going to be insane. It's the first 10 of the 10 rated aura that we've seen so far on this list. And it fits the part. Melody. Creativity is really showing up with these new auras. Your character playing the violin as music notes float around your avatar is just amazing. Along with the amazing music it plays, I can definitely see this being somebody's signature aura. Hellbound. For all the Hades fans, I feel for you because this aura is everything that Hades should have been and more. With your character getting chained from hell as it tries to reach the light is such a cool concept. And the aura portrays it perfectly. It's literally if you combine Hades and Bounded and upgraded it times 10. I'm not sure if the odds will stay the same, but if it's 1 in 45 million, it's definitely worth the rarity. Sovereign. Looks like Archangel, Abyssal Hunter, and a Peach have a new rival, because Sovereign is looking to place themselves as the King of Auras. With your avatar sitting on the throne, with the pose as if you're looking down on everyone, this is just crazy. Along with the supposed odds of it being 1 in 150 million, how many of you guys want this aura? Grim Reaper. Keeping up with the trend of crazy auras, it looks like Era 6 is coming up with a bang because once again, they cooked with this aura. Grim Reaper is definitely going to be one of the most popular auras in the game because just looking at it, it just grabs your attention and holds it. Whoever the first person to get Grim Reaper is, is going to be one popular guy. Reverie. For all the Twilight fans, it looks like Reverie takes everything that's so good about Twilight and enhances it while not being a clone. With the avatar flying on the magic carpet, I literally can't imagine how much more creative these auras can get. Era 6 is cooking. Corrupt. Looking like an undefined ex Diaboli Void combination. Grub looks pretty cool. Definitely my least favorite of the list, but it's still cool for its rarity. Especially when the competition is Lunar Full Moon. Apostolos. My favorite of all the upcoming auras. Apostolos looks insane. Every time my expectations seem to be at a maximum for Era 6, they managed to exceed it over and over. And with the Apostolos, they just blew it off the map. This is easily the coolest aura in any game ever. Divinus Blessed. For all the three Divinus fans out there, another mutation of Divinus is out there for you to collect. With this theme being centered around being holy, it's the best Divinus mutation out there. But is the bar high with Divinus? Felt. While I can't even roll a gravitational, another crazy aura comes out to be collected that I'll never get. Feld is crazy with the theme that your avatar fell to the bottom of hell. They just keep cooking and they won't stop. Looks like the age of auras that look like undead is over. Astralis. If Twilight and Gravitational had a baby, it would be Astralis. The space theme seems to be one of the best thing that Souls RNG does, because to my knowledge, they've never missed so far when it comes to that. Serious. This aura is pretty straightforward, but it's still cool to look at. It does exactly what it needs. It kind of gives a look of Goku with God Key. This aura kind of cooked. Luminosphere. I'm not sure what I think about this aura. There's a lot going on, and I don't know what to focus at. But some of the stuff I look at is pretty cool. What do you guys think? I don't know. 
another chill aura. Autumnal takes the effects of the season and centers itself around it. So far, what are you guys liking more? The crazy auras or the chill auras? Starlight. One of the first accepted auras that we've seen was Starlight. With most of the aura submissions being then tend to be really rare, Starlight takes a low rarity aura and makes it stand out by how cool it looks compared to the others. And I couldn't respect it for that. Resonance. If you liked Melody, you're gonna love Resonance. The new music themed auras are doing really good for their first ever iterations in the game. And hopefully we'll start to see more of them because these auras are really cool. Design. Secret of Lunar. This aura looks pretty cool and it's on the more creative end. With your two robots following you as you hold the hammer, it looks like Poseidon has competition. If I were to bet my money on one of them winning a fight, I definitely got my money on Design. It looks like a menace. Hate. The little brother fallen. If you don't have the luck to get fallen, you could have hate. First sight. I wish we could have had this for the Valentine's event, but this aura is still awesome. This easily outshines all the other love themed auras that we've seen so far. So if you like the Valentine's Day auras, you'll love first sight. Virtual full control. They took virtual and made it cooler in every way possible. If you have virtual, I feel for you because the developers just gave up on you and started making way cooler auras. Virtual malware. They gotta be haters of the original Virtual, because they made the original mid, and now all these mutations just look way cooler than it. Precious. They took our least favorite aura and cooked with it. Era 6 looks like it's coming to save all of our sanity. Now let's get to the reworks. Hades. For all the Hades fans that feel like Hades is underwhelming, with this rework you have nothing to complain about. They took the concept of Hades and maxed it out. Glitch. For being the rarest ore in the game, Glitch was kinda mid. But with this rework, this definitely looks like it's the rarest in the game now. You're probably never gonna see this ore in game in your life. But if you do, it fits the part. Because this is absolutely crazy. Rage heated. I don't even want to talk about this rework, but I have to. They made our least favorite ore a bit less worse. But I still hate Rage Heated. It scarred me one too many times. Matrix. The long awaited Matrix rework. We've waited so long for a Matrix rework that there's two versions of it, but at least it's finally worth its rarity. Let me know which rework you guys like more. Gravitational. To me, I can't see a big difference beside the player leading back, but let me know if you guys like this rework. I find it kind of mid. Star Scourge. The most unexpected rework of them all. This is not even an ore that needed a rework, but they just got Star Scourge and made it better. Out of all the reworks, I think that this is the best. Because it doesn't change the original vision of Star Scourge, they just expand on it and made it a lot better. Chromatic Genesis. The rework of reworks. Probably the most anticipated rework of them all. Chromatic Genesis may just be the best in the group and hold the title of King of Reworks. If you're ready for Era 6, like and subscribe. Thanks.